Welcome, everybody. My name is Jose Fuentes. Uh, I am with the Pennsylvania State University. I'm a faculty member here. Uh, on behalf of the organizing committee, we welcome to this third day of a workshop that we call Increasing Leadership from Historically Underrepresented Groups. This workshop is supported by a grant from the National Science Foundation and resources from the Pennsylvania State University. Uh, Lydia Villa Komarov, who is here with us in the audience, uh, and I actually developed the idea with our colleagues of a committee at NSF to organize this workshop. That committee at NSF is called Committee on Equal Opportunity in Science and Engineering, known as CEOs. Lydia has been one of the most wonderful persons to have on the committee. She served there for six years. Her term just expired. I have also been there for a long time, and I'm currently the chair of that committee. The committee actually writes a report to Congress every two years. The report summarizes the state of opportunity for women, underrepresented groups, and persons with disabilities in science, technology, engineering, and math, as well as other STEM-related fields. Each report makes very specific recommendations to the foundation. The latest version of the report recommends that NSF demonstrates and promotes bold leadership actions to create, integrate, and make visible elements within and across its programs to enhance broadened participation in STEM fields. This report covers the years 2019 and 2020. We released the reports last uh, fall. As any other SEALS reports, they are available for free. You can download from the SEALS webpage at the National Science Foundation. So it's a really a very nice resource that we can all access. At this point, I would like to acknowledge the co-organizers of this workshop. Willie Pearson from the Georgia Tech and John Slaughter from uh, the University of Southern California. Uh, they, with Lydia and me, are the organizing uh, committee for this uh, workshop. As already mentioned, we already had the first day of the workshop on October 29th, and the second day of the workshop was on the 6th of December. Based on the first day of the workshop, uh, we received many, many um, uh, important feedback from the 176 attendees that we had the first day. And one such recommendation was to uh, uh, basically make available all the videos of the presentations that we have for the workshop. So those uh, videos are available on the web page. Uh, as for today, we certainly have a very exciting lineup of speakers, as you can see from the program that we have on the web page. We are going to have three sessions. The first session is on voices of experience, recommendations for change. And then on the second session, we're going to have voices of experience, national efforts underway. And then the third and last session, which to me is really expiring, is voices for, of rising and future leaders. So in every single session, we will have uh, 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 presenters and those presentations will be followed by uh, discussions. And we invite everybody to ask questions. Again, this is a workshop. I think we had a page there. I don't know whether we can put it up uh, again uh, on Zoom so that we can actually mention to you that if you have a question, you can raise your hand or if you want to just uh, put a question on the Q&A of Zoom, you can do that as well. 
So we really want you and invite you to participate uh, in the workshop. At the end of all the three sessions, we're going to have some sort of a summary of what we have been discussing and learning.